Hi, so my name is Natalie Trask and I did spinal cord injury research at the Fraser Institute in uh, Louisville, Kentucky. Okay, so um, the, there was basically two parts to my internship. The research part, um, which was case studies, so I read a lot of um, case studies that have been published um, by my mentor and other people that I was working with. Um, I gained a lot of valuable information from these and um, Normally these case studies were things that we went over in our weekly intern meetings. So I got like the background on some things and then we went over like a lecture about um, those certain things. So it was kind of like a really good um, learning process there. And at these weekly intern meetings, um, interns would present. So there was like about four other interns with me. They're all college students and they're all working on different projects. So um, each Friday we would have a meeting and they would present their project that they were doing. Um, I presented the last week I was there on the timeline of the patient that I made. That was my project. So for six weeks I stayed with the same patient who had a spinal cord injury and he had been going to Fraser for quite some time and I basically just made a timeline of his improvement throughout um, those years of his life. Um, I also got HIPAA certified at the Fraser Institute too because I was working with patients. Um, and so the other part was the clinical part. So this was like in the therapy sessions. Um, so there was the treadmill and um, a physical therapist. So the patient would be like held up by a harness and the physical therapist would be behind the patient holding their hips in place so that they could walk basically. And then two um, physical therapy techs on either side of their legs like um, pushing like certain pressure points to like stimulate the body and stuff like that. And I thought this was really cool because these people are paralyzed so they can't they can't walk. Um, but this gives them an opportunity to like have that experience. And basically like through this they can like regain those functions. Um, there's also the standing machine. So um, the patient would like stand in the machine and we would play like basketball, board games, stuff like that. So yeah. Um, some surprises that I had was when I learned about um, autonomic dysreflexia. Um, this is like a um, certain like, I guess, illness that you could say um, that spinal cord injury patients have. Um, so basically when there's like a um, uncomfortable stimulus that the body is responding to, that could be like a full bladder or like an uncomfy shirt or something like that, the top part of the body becomes like super overreactive, like trying to like solve the issue. Um, and this like raises blood pressure. This is like a fight or flight mode. And then the bottom part of the body, since it can't communicate with the top, um, tries to like calm down the body, but the bottom part of the body can't reach the top part because there's no connection. So the bottom part is like super chilled down. And so um, this can like be a serious um, condition and it needs to be like, it's like a medical emergency. And I had no idea about this. So that was cool to learn about. I also learned about different types of stimulation. So there's neuromuscular, which just goes like directly on the muscles. And stimulation is like, it could be like little pads that go on the muscles and it's like hooked up to like some electricity. So it sends a signal through the body. Um, there's also um, intermuscular, no. Uh, yeah, and so there, um, there's one like un like implanted underneath the skin, and then transcutaneous, which goes right along the spinal cord. Um, some other surprises I learned were gravity neutral. So this is like um, kind of like the treadmill thing, but if the patient doesn't have the ability to stand, um, they can do gravity neutral. So the patient would be uh, laying on the mat table, and two physical therapy technicians would be like moving their legs on this board that swings back and forth. And so they're also connected to stimulation, which is basically trying to make their body like um, react to this like stimulation that's going on, so. Oops. Um, so I was very fortunate. I got to stay with a host family um, in Kentucky for six weeks, and they were great. Um, they were fun to stay with. Those are the two boys that they had. Um, we did a lot together, so yeah. Um, some advice for future pinterns, take every opportunity, don't be afraid to speak up, um, and talk to everyone and make those connections, because you never know when you're going to need like a letter of recommendation from a mentor, or like need a ride somewhere, you know? <laughs> um, some fun things, I went um, boating down the Ohio River, I went to a soccer game, I went to the baseball museum, and then the host family, they had a um, neighborhood like pool right behind their house. So that was a lot of fun. I spent a lot of time there. 
And just thank you to everyone that helped with my internship. So.